Howdy. Welcome back from more Space Engineers. And today, we're going to eat some soup. Because I was starving. Now, that's the whole reason why we're sitting here. Um, we're going to come out here, and I'm going to use my spectator cam. Now, I was working on this a little bit, trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. And... I think I have this mostly figured out. So, right in here, we're going to have the back and forth for allowing uh, refined ores, ingots, into the system. Uh, this will only allow ingots through here. And we will have a row of refineries lined up for each of the resources and then what i'm thinking and uh this may be a bit ambitious is i'm thinking i'm gonna go out of the asteroid i'm not sure which way yet but i'm kind of thinking i'm gonna go up out of the asteroid hmm i don't know it's a long ways Maybe I won't go out of the asteroid. Maybe I'll make a dock over here in the cave. Because it does wrap around there. And that will be where our resource drones will dock. So. That's what we're going to do. Is we're going to get an entire line of these set up. Uh, one for iron, silicon, yada, 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 yada. And uh, I think I'm actually going to take this down, take down the refinery. And we are going to move. We're going to move the refinery forward one block. And we are not going to separate the ores. Actually, I don't like that idea. All right, we're going to have to have a dedicated refinery just for refining stone. Um, and that will go down there. Probably the last one. So, we're going to carry this over. One for each of the resources. And then the stone one will actually have a little bit more space because it will have to feed back into all of the other ones so that the leftovers from stone excuse me will uh go into the rest of the cargo containers all sorted like they're supposed to be so all right without further ado oh and before i do that I did have to make a change. I wound up having to add the third timer block in there. And there's a reason I did that. And it's the reason will make sense. I need that to be shut off while this is set to drain all. So these are just both passed through. And then this shuts off and this goes to drain all. And then drain all shuts off and this turns on and then this turns off and this turns back on so that it's constantly keeping this empty before draining from the assembler so that way it won't allow any overflow to go into the base and stay in the base and overrun the base and also did the same thing with all of these setups over here so these are all set up to work properly now as well. And these ones here will probably be run off of the same timers. So. Let me uh, switch back to my character here. Get him up out of this seat. Let's check my inventory. All right. Now I think. Uh, let's close my hood here on the light so we can see 
Am I? Did I hit the caps lock? I did. All right. So we're going to run it back around over here. And I don't know why we're running. We should be flying. Now, the only problem I have with this is if you're going to do this and you don't have the DLCs, you're going to have to add an extra space between these setups. Uh, the reason this setup is going to work is specifically because I'm using the large DLC containers here. They don't have the connector on the side. So I won't get bleed through from each line. So let's go ahead and we will start placing blocks. We're going to need these like so. And that one is going to stay there. I think we're going to, yeah, we're going to put one there. And okay, that should be it for that. And that actually, those ones should not be there like that. All right, let's get Bob to get rid of those. And we're going to jump in there and help. Because our inventory is empty. All right. Now we need... Those should be facing that way, but instead of using those, we're going to use the straight. Um, there it is. Apparently, I'm just blind. We're going to use the straights there. All right, we're going to come through and we're going to do that. And that. And this one we're going to have to replace with a T. Okay. I'm just going to place all of these blocks here real quick. Not that one. There we go. And I probably should be placing them like that. Oh, well. Too late now. No use crying over spilled milk. Or misplaced blocks, I guess. Okay. And the reason we're doing this is because I'm going to show you what I've got for the setup here. All right. So we'll put that that way. Put all those in. This should go rather quick. Uh, did I misplace? I did. I misplaced one. Crap. All right. So, we'll stop there for now. I'll fill the rest of those in later. Should be two blocks between each one. They need to be one every three blocks. Now we're going to switch to the sorter. Okay. And here we are going to use a T. Placed just like so. And here we're going to use another sorter. And right here we're using just a 90 degree turn. A 90 degree turn. 
and a regular 90 degree turn. There we go. And then some blocks to fill it in. So that's basically the setup here. All right. And then in here, we're going to want Yeah, you can see what I mean here. These ones that because they have the connection on all six sides, they would they would actually connect to that container there. If I use these containers, then I've only got connectors on four sides, so I can plop them right next to each other and they won't connect. And now I can put in a refinery and I could have gone simple and used the standard refineries here but that did not work for what I really wanted aesthetically um, this will all be closed in in the end this entire room here will be closed in and it will be a factory so I want to be able to walk up on the machinery, which means there are going to be catwalks and whatnot placed all over the place. Now, I need to copy this 10 more times. Program all the blocks. Ah, and get it up and running. So, I will get started on that and then I will be back when I've got them all placed unless something interesting happens all right we're done building everything welcome back and let's get going uh, I've made a few other changes aside from just finishing that up and I will point those out along the way I did push that wall a little farther back so that we would have access to push this wall this whole thing further that way and give some access points for being able to put a, a stairway up here to get access to this and well, among it just it feels better so we've got all of these storage systems set up here for all the ores that is really loud uh, and they are working flawlessly if I can get this to actually catch here you can see that all of the iron is getting shoveled right there no problem whatsoever same all the way down with one very notable exception and if we come down here it's all the way over here at the end well next to last do you believe it's this one yes uranium I can't seem to stockpile any uranium and that's mainly because of the large reactor. The large reactor just seems to grab all the uranium. I honestly think the inventory size is way too big. That's what, like 150 years of uranium there? So it'd be nice if the large reactor had a smaller size. But uh, I am rather happy with the way this has all turned out. I've got this back alleyway going down the back of the refineries with access up into the refineries yeah, a little bit of game freezing going on there and here's all the refineries oh I fell off the platform oh yeah that's another thing I added I added gravity back here yay so all of the refineries are set up and you can see that this one is the stone uranium Platinum, gold, silver, magnesium, cobalt, nickel, silicon, and iron. And the setup is actually rather nice. I've got this one sorter that's pulling out of the main inventory line. And it's just grabbing all of the ores. Every last bit of ore. 
and scrap out of the system and shoving it into this main line up top here and putting them into these refineries. Each of these refineries is set up to process only one ore. This one will only take iron. It takes the ore or the ingots can go through this refinery. And it's the same with this one here. The ore and ingots can go through this refinery. And this one is silicon, I believe. Yes. All the way down. Uh, basically the same setup all the way down. Until you get to the stone. The stone had to be the last one on the circuit. Because the stone actually needs two sorters. Because I've also got it set up to do the scrap. And it's set up to do the scrap because it's already got multiple ingot outputs by default. It has to be able to output... Um... Uh, iron, silicon, and nickel. Just from processing stone as well as the gravel. So, it brings in all the scrap and the stone. And just pulls them all down into this refinery. And this one is set up as a blacklist. Where ores and gravel will not come back out. So... It'll all go in, get processed, and then anything that is uh, not gravel or ore will get pulled, sucked right back out, and then shuffled right back into the system where, where it will get sorted into the correct containers. So, I also had to add these catwalks here because at one point I was... I was uh, halfway up one of those and I hit a button and it threw me like way back into that wall actually took a little bit of damage which was rather annoying and I didn't want that to happen again so I threw these catwalks here and they keep me from flying out of there and hitting a wall and this whole thing is catwalked up, so we can come up here, we can walk right up on top of this and go across uh, go across from refinery to refinery. We can walk up here and be on top of the inventories, check all the inventory, which I thought was kind of a nice little add. I'm thinking about adding a set of half stairs that will go from here down to that sorter block right there. In fact, I think we'll do that. We'll add that in right now. So let's run around back here. Thought it was this level. It's the next one down. Yeah. All right. We'll come over here and we will add those stairs going up. Yeah, right there. Why can't I add that there? Oh, because that will require me to have something to support it. Okay, let's see. I mean, I guess that works. Let's see, do I have a spare spot? Yeah. Let's grab a neon tube. And I just want the corner piece. I don't want anything fancy. And I want to change to black. Hmm, actually Neon 2 won't work either. Because it'll hang off. Alright. So I guess rail it is. Switch back to that color. Hmm. 
Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Now we'll just change this out here. Okay, am I I'm not falling on my butt, so that's good. Okay, we are looking for the one with a rail on one side. There we go. And then hopefully we can put a half rail. Uh, the other half rail. Right there. There we go. Now we can go from the top le level down to here. And that doesn't feel as unsafe as it did before either. So, that works out good. So yeah, as I was saying, this is all worked out and it's nice and sorted. And basically this entire base is automated. The only thing I have to do is bring in resources. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, over here, build a large wall of storage containers. And it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, unrefined ore storage and ice storage over there. And over here, it's going to be a wall of hydrogen tanks. So yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. So yeah, next time. We'll work on some more storage. And uh, it's all about getting some storage built up so that we can. So that we can actually get the true automation going and get some drones going from each of those resource nodes back to the base and have some drones that just fly on their own. Uh, just keep going all on their own without our input. I think that's ultimately where I want this to go. So, anyways, that's it for today, and if you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't, well, you know where that button's at. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think I should have done differently, or if you want to call me, call me a moron for just forgetting about the air tightness, or, or whatever. Yeah, I'll see you next week with uh, more work on this base. See ya.